What are Christians to think of evolution? Leading atheists claim that naturalistic evolution has been proved to be true. And this view has become the mainstream in Western society. As the story goes, some chemicals came together by random chance to form the first self-reproducing entity, which evolved to create the first living cell or cells. These then evolved by random chance and natural selection to create the entire biosphere. This story has been shown to be impossible, or false, at many levels, based on scientific data. However, many people, including many Christians, believe it to be true. So, how do Christians reconcile varying degrees of belief in evolution, with faith in God? The various options are 1. Atheistic evolution 2. Deistic evolution 3. Theistic naturalistic evolution 4. Theistic pre-designed pre-channeled non-interventional evolution 5. Theistic guided interventional evolution 6. Old Earth stair-step creation 7. Young Earth creation 1. Atheistic evolution In this view, there is no God. Random chance created the first self-reproducing system. From this, random chance plus natural selection created the entire biosphere. 2. Deistic evolution In this view, God exists. But he does not care about the universe, or us. He created the universe, and then let it run its course. He did not plan for the universe to create life, but it did, first by random chance, and later, with natural selection. 3. Theistic naturalistic evolution In this view, naturalistic neo-Darwinian evolution is true, but God is tacked on somehow. Most theistic evolutionists seem to subscribe to this. However, as many atheists have pointed out, this view is incoherent because neo-Darwinism has no room for God, or intention, or purpose, or pre-planning, only random chance and natural law. So, we present two more coherent alternatives next. 4. Theistic pre-designed pre-channeled non-interventional evolution. In this view, God exists. He created natural laws and built in pre-designed natural law channels. Random chance processes proceed down these channels to create the entire biosphere. This process created us in stages through the biosphere, until we reached anatomically modern humans, then cognitively modern humans, and then spiritually modern humans, i.e., us. The only direct intervention by God was at the origin of the universe. The rest was all based on evolution through pre-designed channels. So, this view is non-interventional in the rest of the process of evolution. 5. Theistic guided interventional evolution. In this view, God exists. He created natural laws, such that random chance plus natural laws could create the first self-reproducing system. From this, natural selection could direct that system to evolve the entire biosphere. However, at crucial junctions, God nudged evolution down a particular channel or channels. Such a nudge could be by God redirecting a cosmic ray slightly, to create a particular single mutation in a creature or in a fetus. That mutation would direct the creature and its offspring, or the fetus down a slightly different path in evolution. This process, with slight, but not major, nudges from God created us, in stages through the biosphere until we reached anatomically modern humans, then cognitively modern humans, and then spiritually modern humans, i.e., us. There was major direct intervention by God at the origin of the universe. Other interventions were minor, very slight, gentle nudges, and as few as needed to create us over time. In all three forms of theistic evolution, God can answer prayers. Jesus is God the Son. Jesus suffered and died on the cross to enable reconciliation between God and us. A theistic evolutionist can choose to commit his or her life to Christ and be saved. 6. Old Earth Stair Step Creation In this view, God created the universe, together with natural laws and natural processes that operate in the universe. There are limits on what the natural processes can accomplish. God intervenes to create something new in the universe, that natural processes could not create, and then lets natural processes operate on that something new to develop variations on that new thing. God then repeats this process to create the various parts of creation, including us, finally. The difference between this view and theistic evolution, is that the infusions of new functional information into the universe, to create us for instance, are not minor, but rather, are quite significant between each stair-step stage of creation. In contrast, in interventional theistic evolution, the infusions of new functional information are minor and very small. Stair steps in creation. God first created space-time and energy matter, then the stars, galaxies, and the solar system, then first life on Earth. Then, the creatures of the Avalon explosion, then the creatures of the Cambrian explosion and each of the major phyla. And finally, he created spiritually modern humans, with the capacity to have a relationship with him. In this view, God created each of the higher taxa of the biosphere as bushes of life, rather than a single tree of life as in Darwinism. At the base of each bush is a creation event with a signature of a large infusion of complex functional information. Bushes are at the level of taxonomic family and higher. Spiritually modern humans did not just evolve from a chimp human ancestor. Humans required a significant infusion of complex functional information from God. 7. Young Earth Creationism. In this view, the Earth is 10,000 years or so young, and God created the universe and the Earth in six literal 24-hour days. 
species are not static. They can vary within a taxonomic family, but not higher. Humans are a special creation by God, on the sixth day of creation. Conclusion. If you want to believe in evolution, you are welcome to do so. And if so, you can be a theistic evolutionist, where God created the evolutionary process and directed it to create the biosphere including humans. And you can be a Christian, as a theistic evolutionist. If you believe in young earth creationism, that is fine. Scientific data is consistent with some YEC views, e.g., a literal Adam and Eve, genetic entropy, separate creation of kinds, i.e., taxonomic families. However, it is very difficult to reconcile the scientific data with belief in a 10,000-year young earth. My personal view is old earth stair-step creation, as the most consistent with the totality of the scientific data, and with logic. But, creation or evolution is a secondary doctrine. Your salvation does not depend on it. So, you are welcome to believe what you wish to in this area.